Diesel Test presents the Christina Complex for repairing common rail injectors. The Christina Complex allows to carry out accurate and high quality assembly of the electromagnetic injectors of the common rail system using the software and database developed by our company. In this video, we will talk about the capabilities of the Christina Complex with full visualization of the process of determination of the required mounting parameters and assembly of common rail injectors. For convenient usage, there is a language selection option and separate sections for different injector manufacturers Bosch, Denso, Delphi and Asbi. These steps for the current assembly of Bosch injectors include instructions for screwing valve retaining bolt, measuring armature stroke, measuring residual air gap, screwing solenoid retaining nut, measuring electrical armature stroke, measuring nozzle spring force, measuring needle lift, screwing nozzle retaining nut, screwing inlet connector, measuring valve spring force, measuring Measuring resistance, injector body isolation and induction. Steps for repairing the Denso injectors include information about spare parts, instructions for dismantling and assembling injector with description of the process of installing valve set assembly, information about armature stroke measurement and magnet nozzle and cap nut assembly. Steps for repairing the Delphi injectors include description of disassembling and assembling of injector and information about nozzle retaining nut tightening. Steps for repairing the ASPI injectors include information about screwing valve retaining bolt, screwing solenoid retaining nut, measuring electrical armature stroke, measuring needle lift and screwing nozzle retaining nut. Assembling of injectors is carried out only after ultrasonic cleaning of all its components. In the first step of assembling Bosch injector, we tighten the valve retaining bolt with the correct torque. First, lubricate the inner surface of the injector body. Fix the supporting ring to the stop, then place a new O-ring. Use the assembly tool to install the O-ring. Next, insert the multiplicator into the injector body. Install the injector into the holder DLSD01 and fix it. Install the ball valve, the valve holder, the old AH shim, the armature rod with the armature guide and the valve retaining bolt. Screw it on using hand and check the mobility of the armature. Finish screw valve retaining bolt using a protractor and a torque wrench. The whole sequence of actions in this step is also displayed in the program and is visible when the information window is scrolled downwards. In the second step, the armature stroke is measured. Fix the armature spring in the injector body, the armature plate and the stopper. Install the injector in the holder Christina. Reliably fix it in the clamping device and using the hand wheel move the slider with the digital indicator into the injector body and fix it. Set on the indicator to zero and supply air with a required pressure. The value of the armature stroke will be displayed on the indicator and in the Christina program. If the measurement result is out of tolerance range, it is necessary to replace the shim according to the steps of the Christina program by repairing the disassembly and assembly steps of the injector. When you enter the values of the old shim in the program, a new size will be displayed. We use a new shim from the set supplied with the Christina complex. Repeat the measurement. The whole sequence of actions of this step is displayed in the program and is visible when the information window is scrolled down. In the third step, the residual air gap is measured. Fix the electromagnet in the holder DLSD01. Use an adapter and a measuring probe with a digital indicator included in the complex. Make the first measurement. Put the result into field 1 in the program. Place the adjusting shim in the injector body. Make the second measurement of the electromagnet and put the result also into the program. 
When you enter the values of the old shim in the program, a new size will be displayed. If necessary, change the adjusting shim. In the fourth step, solenoid retaining nut is tightened. Place the shim BFK in the solenoid and fix its position with lubricant. Install the solenoid on the injector body and tighten nut with the hand. Finally, tighten the solenoid nut according to the instructions in the program. In the fifth step, the solenoid armature stroke is measured. Install the injector in the holder Christina. Connect the signal cable. Press the read button in the Christina program. In a few seconds, the graph of needle movement appears on the screen and the corresponding result will be copied in the obtained value field in the program. In the sixth step, the force of the needle spring is measured. The whole sequence of actions in this step is displayed in the program and is visible when the information window is scrolled down. In the seventh step, the needle lift is measured. In the eighth step, we perform nozzle retaining nut tightening according to the description in the program. In the ninth step, install a new sealing washer and then tighten the inlet connector. Then, the resistance of the electromagnet is measured. Connect the cable to the resistance output of the Christina device. Record the value of zero resistance of the connecting cable. Then connect the cable to the injector. Record the resistance of the injector by clicking on the read button. In the 12th step, the insulation of the electromagnet from the injector body is checked. Measurement is made in the program according to instructions. In the 13th step, the electromagnet coil inductance is measured. When the injector is assembled, it is necessary to test it on the common rail test bench. You will get the test report with the technical parameters in accordance with the injector manufacturer's requirements. More detailed information about the equipment you can always get from us or our dealers. Thank you for your attention. www.dieseltest.com